Hello and welcome to a new video about Prometics. This time we're going to talk about, well, the last part of the treatment process, last possible part of the treatment process would be the right wording, oilers. Sometimes it's necessary to add a little bit oil to our compressed air. I know, now we cleaned it, we regulated the pressure and now we oil it again. Yeah. Why? Well, it's not always oiled. Yeah. Usually, you just oil uh, in case you have very fast movement somewhere, yeah. very, very rapid piston movement somewhere. And also, if you have big pistons, yeah, relatively small in length, but, but in diameter big, so that there is a danger that it will simply get stuck because it's tilted. Okay, so if things need to be lubricated to work well, well, then we lubricate. However, not always, huh? because, you know, oil inside, it's like, it's like dust and it will cause, it may cause problems, may cause problems in valves, yeah? so there is the function no longer given, something like this. Yeah? Uh, may if if you operate the the uh, pneumatic system sometimes yeah, and then it's long time and stand still then this oil this will get stuck in some oils and then it it's not lubricating it's somehow sticky yeah, and then it might simply block things yeah. and of course there's the environment environmental issues to spray oil somewhere. Yeah? However, sometimes it's tactically necessary, like I said, high speeds, big diameters of, of pistons, something like that, to add a little bit oil. And this is why we're looking into how this is working. So, basically, if we want to oil something, we need an oil reservoir. Yeah? So, it looks a little bit like the, the, the filter, so there is also a case. Hmm? And inside this case, there is now not condensate, there is now oil. Hmm? So there is the oil reservoir inside. Here we have the oil. Above here, yeah, we again have a block where we are simply rushing through. Mm -hmm. So there is there is the air going through my. The clean air now with the correct pressure is passing here. So how does the get how do we get the oil from here to here? How do we spray it in? And how do we regulate how much oil we are adding? Well, one thing is for sure, here is a little hole. Huh? There's also a non-return valve, so that there is no pressure or oil can travel from here up. It's just the pressurized air. Yeah? Here I throw a little ball inside, yeah? and this pressurized, pressurized air, this will can, this can go down here. Yeah? So actually, inside here, we have air pressure. Okay? This does not help us very much, because here we also have the same pressure. Yeah? So here we have the pressure, here we have the pressure. How do we get it up? Well, we are using some sort of straw yeah? suction line. There is a suction line going to the bottom. Yeah? It's like a straw in your drink, yeah? but it's transporting, it's transporting uh, the oil up to here somewhere. Yeah? 
And here we do have an item where we can adjust how much oil. Yeah? There's a needle valve inside. Yeah? So there you can there's a little hole. Yeah? And you can move a needle up and down with a thread. Yeah? So you can adjust essentially the size of the hole where the oil has to pass. Yeah? And here it's coming down and here is something built inside. which shall distribute the oil to the air. Yeah. So here... But how is this working? Right? How is this working? I mean, we have here the pressure, we have here the same pressure, so why should the oil travel upwards? Yeah. Is there some sort of pump somewhere? No. This little device here, this is called a Venturi nozzle. Yeah. How is this working? Venturi nozzle basically you know, looks like this. Yeah. Maybe the outside is very cylindrical form. Yeah. And here the index and it will close down and then open up again. Okay, close down and open up again. This is how this Venturi nozzle looks like. Here the oil is coming. Here we are connected to the, to the upper part. How is this Venturi nozzle now? Now working. Huh? Air is coming here. Huh? It's entering the Venturi nozzle at a certain area. So here we have a certain area. Yeah? This is where the air is coming in. Yeah? And here the area is less simply because it's narrowing down. However, the same air has to travel through than here, because if here the air is entering, it cannot get somewhere else. Okay? So, the same amount of air, the same liters per second or cubic decimeters per second or whatever, yeah, need to pass this lower area. And if you want to have the same amount of material passing, at a smaller gap, you simply have to travel faster. Yeah? So, here the speed is low, the speed is rising, 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 and then dropping again. So the medium, the air, is accelerating in this Venturi nozzle. Yeah? If something is accelerating, yeah, energy, we cannot produce energy, we cannot destroy energy. No, it's not working. Yeah? So where come, where does the energy come from? The energy comes from the pressure. Yeah? So here we have low velocity and high pressure. Here we have higher velocity and lower pressure. Aha, lower pressure. So if we have inside here a lower pressure and have here a higher pressure, then this higher pressure will shift the oil up here. Here is the dripping chamber. So there you can adjust how much oil has to pass this, this, this valve and then drips here in a reservoir. And then is distributed inside this Venturi nozzle to the, to the uh, air. Of course we need the energy to lift the oil. This energy is coming from the air itself. Okay. So there is no extra energy needed, we just take it from the process. This is how an oiler works. Huh? Venturi principle. It's called. 
interesting thing. So, Eulers. Huh? Next time, next time we are going to talk about uh, symbols. Huh? Now we talked about all the elements. Huh? Next time we are going to talk about all the different symbols which we are using to describe the elements in the schematic. We talked about we are going to use the schematic and we also talked about we are using symbols. Next time we briefly, or I show you the symbols simply, how they are used for all those stuff. Yeah? Pressure regulating valve filters, oilers, uh, uh, compressors. Yeah? Yeah. This will then be next time. For this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.